a very good day to all. Our channel, Life Sciences Finer Nuances, extend a very warm welcome to all. This channel is hosted by Dr. Rakesh Kumar Singh and myself, Dr. Rekha Srivastava of Government Motilal Vigyan Mahavidyalay, Bhopal. It caters to the needs of all students, learners, educators, uh, researchers and enthusiasts who wish to explore the wonderful world of life sciences. We shall be updating our channel regularly with most recent updates which you will find very interesting. Please watch us, like, comment and subscribe our channel. learners, educators, researchers and enthusiasts. A very good day to all. On behalf of Dr. Rakesh Kumar Singh and myself, Dr. Rekha Srivastava of Government Motilal Vigyan Mahavidyalay, I welcome you all for the latest update for our channel, Life Sciences Finer Nuances. First of all, let me express our heartfelt thanks to you for the overwhelming response from one and all in all our previous presentations. We hope that you will continue your support, keen observation, response, comments and subscription in all our forthcoming presentations. And please do keep on watching us because that will be greatly motivating for us all. Thank you. Watching an aquarium is one of the most exhilarating experience, both for mind and soul. The term aquarium was co coined by English naturalist Philip Henry Gosset. And you can see there are various types of aquaria, home aquaria, public aquaria, as well as aquarium, which are dependent on the quality of water, that is fresh water and marine aquaria. Before you start making an aquarium, you need to have the following things. First is the tank, the lighting arrangement, heater, thermometer, aerator, filter and various other accessories. As you can see here, we have shown you various uh, aquarium. Uh, first of all, the glass tanks can be prepared by using silicon rubber, which is needed for joining the glass. The most uh, proper dimensions would be 60 by 30 by 38. Then uh, plastic tanks, which are made up of flat sheets of perspex, plastic material made by polymerization of methyl methacrylate can also be used. Lighting arrangement for an aquarium is a very important factor. Direct sunlight should always be avoided. Best lighting options are fluorescent bulbs and LED lights. Besides this, thermometer is also very important because it helps to maintain the temperature, especially for tropical fishes, because a temperature should be regulated according to the needs of the fishes. Low temperature makes fishes sluggish and susceptible to diseases. Heaters are required for the maintenance of temperature in a tropical aquarium because a heater ensures that a tank does not get too cool. Besides this, thermostats are also needed to maintain a regular range of temperature. There are two types of thermostats, internal thermostat, which can be either partially or fully submerged and external thermostat, which is placed outside. Aerators, air pumps are an essential component of any aquarium because they allow better exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide.
Besides this, filtration process also takes place through them. External filters can also be used. They are placed outside and they do not require cleaning very often. Aquarium covers are also needed for an aquarium tank. It helps in protection, prevents fishes from jumping out, keeping dust out and also reducing heat loss. Besides this, uh, gravel is also a very important factor in starting up an aquarium. It is spread on the bottom of the tank in a sloping position. It helps in biological filtration. Gravel provides a home for bacterial colonies which are necessary to eliminate waste from fishes. Gravel is also important because it provides habitat for fishes. It also provides a home for live plants. Besides these, it enhances the aesthetic appeal as it hides the waste that may flow in water. As you can see, this is the water purification system of an aquarium. This is an inbuilt natural process. The food which is fed to the fishes, the excess food which passes and the polluted water, they pass through the gravel and by the process of ammonification, nitrification, they get converted into NO3, NO2 and thus uh, the water remains clean in an aquarium. Another important aspect is the water management in an aquarium. The water which is in the aquarium has to have certain physical chemical characteristics such as pH which should be according to the necessity of the fishes, temperature which should be between 22 to 30 degrees centigrade centigrade that is the normal uh, range then uh, to increase the temperature heaters are used chlorine proves to be fatal for fishes hardness of water also is should be controlled because egg laying fishes require soft water with carbonate quantity 10 to 80 ppm One of the most wondrous aspects of an aquarium is the lovely fishes which we keep in an aquarium. Generally, bright colored and small sized fishes are kept and care should be taken to choose fishes which are compatible. Their age, size, gender, quantity and other habitats should also be taken into consideration. Some of the top most freshwater fishes which are chosen for an aquarium are Neon tetra, guppies, mollies, betta fish. Other aquarium fishes which are used are goldfish, which is one of the very popular fish for an aquarium, angelfish, golden dwarf barbs, rainbow fish, zebra danios, platies. Here is a list of some other important aquarium fishes along with their common name, taxonomical name, which you can use in, a, in your aquarium. Uh, some other fishes which can be used in an aquarium. As you can see, Pearl Danio, Malabar Danio, Queen Danio, Spotted Danio, these are the various types of danios which are commonly used in an aquarium. Feeding of fishes is a very important activity. Besides feeding fishes with vegetables like small quantities of spinach, lettuce, flour and corn, spirulina, fishes can also be fed with live food that is earthworms, sludge worms, water fleas, and some other varieties of worms. Aquarium plants are very important for an aquarium because they supply oxygen by photosynthesis, which is essential for respiration of fishes. Aquarium plants also enhance water quality as they prevent algal growth by using nutrients produced by fish waste 
अनईटन फूड एंड ऑर्गेनिक डेब्रीज plants also provide a substratum for spawning of fishes they are also used for camouflaging by some species of fishes they provide nutrition to fishes especially those feeding entirely on plants plants also enhance the beauty of the aquaria here is a list of some important aquatic plants used well friends here is a list of do's and don'ts which you should do for the maintenance and regular mon monitoring of an aquarium the main goal of the routine maintenance is a suitable aquarium which is stable maintenance includes regular water changes about 25% of water should be replaced once in a month gravel vacuum can be used to siphon off uh, water and debris algal growth on the glass should be scrapped off algal growth on the sides should is definitely beneficial fishes should be properly taken care of they have to be regularly fed overfeeding should be avoided before you set up an aquarium just look for the following factors first is the location it should be selected in a suitable place where direct sunlight does not reach aquarium gravel is an important factor as i told you earlier water should be having suitable physico chemical properties rocks and colored stones can be added when the tank is half full granite and sandstones are suitable for aquaria as i told you earlier heater and thermostat are a must electricity gadgets elec should be placed taking all precautions plantation is to be done when the tank is half full adding of fishes should be done about a week after setting up of the aquarium here's a list of world famous aquaria dear listeners which we have brought specially for you the first one is the chaimlong ocean kingdom which is located in zhuai china it holds the record for largest underwater viewing dome largest aquarium tank and largest aquarium window another popular public aquaria is the marine life park aquaria which is located in sentosa in southern singapore it has more than 1 lakh marine animals la oceanographic it is the largest aquarium in europe it is located in valencia spain holding 42 million liters of water Another important and very popular aquarium is Georgia Aquarium which is located in Atlanta Georgia USA it holds hundreds of species and thousands of animals across its seven major galleries Oceania Mall Aquarium another popular public aquarium is located in Moscow Russia It's world's tallest cylindrical aquarium and has a walk-through tunnel and hydraulic elevator. The Seas with Nemo and Friends has a very special name. It is located on the western side of Future World at Epcot in Bay Lake, Florida. Shed Aquarium It is an indoor public aquarium in Chicago, Illinois, again in United States. opened in 1930 the 5 million us gallons aquarium was earlier the largest indoor facility yushaka marine world is located in durban south africa in an area of 16 hectares total volume of tanks is nearly 17500 cubic meters another popular aquarium is the atlantic sea park which is located in norway It is one of the Scandinavia's largest saltwater aquaria with a spectacular outdoor area and a view directly of the Atlantic Ocean. The Ambassador Lagoon it is themed aquarium which has underwater halls and tunnels and is located in Palm Jumeirah Dubai 
UAE, it has an 11 million liter marine habitat aquarium. So learners, friends, researchers, and my dear students, aquarium watching can be a very exhilarating experience. Besides beautifying, aquarium can be a great source of learning. It is also known to decrease stress, pain, anxiety, blood pressure, and heart rate. It improves focus and creativity. It has calming effect for children and Alzheimer's patients. Besides these, it is also a very significant structure in Vastu Shastra. And besides other fishes, goldfishes are known to increase the glow and considered to be sacred, bringing prosperity. So, in the end, we can say aquarium is an imaginative experience for all. Well, this brings to an end the topic of the day and the finer nuances related to it. I'm sure you must have liked it. And if you do have any queries, you're most welcome. Please do contact us. And of course, you can always uh, correspond with us. You can correspond with us on our email ID lifesciences.finalnuances at gmail.com